I was just woodcutting some soliceps and all of a sudden Max Nick just comes up to me and gives me a Zenite ring for uh, actually killing Soldra, which is such a nice convenience item. And that means in this video we're actually going to do some Solra. It was actually completely unexpected, I had no idea it was going to do that for me, but let's make the enchanted Ring of Suffering and now we have to go to the Nightmare Zone and imbue it. I'm pretty sure my Nightmare Zone setup on what bosses I'm fighting is pretty bad, I think the one I'm fighting right now is terrible points because you have to kill it three times and it only gives points for one of the phases I'm pretty sure. But it uh, should be fine if I change it up a bit. I shouldn't take more than like 3 hours to do this. And that is all the points I needed, so let's go out. And the ring of course is now 10 in all defense stats and 1 prey bonus. But let's upgrade it with the imbue. That is now done and it has 3 prayer bonus. So I actually did more than double the prayer bonus and 20 in all stats. And now if I get all these rings of recoil into this. Let's see how many charges, 8,280 recoil charges, that is so nice. So I started with 70 kills on Solra and this is kill number 80, so I've done 10 kills and it is very nice with the Ring of Suffering. I think for this video my goal will be 100 kills, so we have 20 more to do. Oh, there we go, that's the first one. That is a 500 Solra scale drop, making that a 633 Solra scale in one drop. Those are excellent. Currently at 86 KC and I realized I should just use all my bones that I have banked because having obviously a higher prayer level is going to save me some prey potions and look how many I have. I have almost 300 dragon bones and I've been gifted all of this basically just to get to 70 prayer so if I would pass 70, I'm currently 64, then I'm just going to put in the external ones into the group storage for uh, Doug whenever he needs 70 prayer. Turns out we did have enough bones, perfect, 70 prayer achieved, and I think we still have like 50 dragon bones, I did use pretty much all the other things we had, but now that I have 70 prayer I might as well complete the king's ransom, because when we're going to do bandos and stuff like that as a group it is very nice to have the piety prayer. This is unironically the worst hitbox I've ever seen. I tried to talk to him, but you can't if I right click like all around him, I have to move my mouse here to almost the door what is that so of course the quest itself is actually not the uh, piety unlock it is the training ground you have to do afterwards but that is very simple actually the main reason why i thought getting piety now is a good moment is because we actually have max nick and the soon dovidas both going to use wild pies to boost and kill abyssal demons and uh, they are hopefully going to get us a couple of whips and having piety unlocked with that is going to be absolute blaster at bandos and stuff like that oh my god look at the drain on this i have basically no stats left good thing i brought my ring of suffering i actually pretty much only killed the last one with ring of suffering because i have no strength and defense but that was uh, like eighty thousand combat experience in different skills i don't think i got any levels for that no i didn't but we now have the piety prayer, I can use that on future bundles or whatever PVMing I want to do with melee. We are back to Solra and this is KC number 90 for even more Solra scales. That is such a good drop, I don't know if I mentioned why before, but it is because we do have two items and soon three items being the trident of the swamp that actually use these scales. And I don't have that high KC, so we don't have a bunch of them, so getting the bigger Solra scale drops are perfect. And here we go, this is KC number 100 for some battle staves and that is also a task completed of course for 100 kills. Let's have a quick look actually at the loot where I'm going to stop and I mostly did this for scales so I would say that this is pretty successful because I got two of those bigger scale drops. Almost 7000 in 30 kills is very nice on top of the papaya seeds that I'm going to use for 70 farming which I am getting pretty close to so that is very nice to see. There is a quest called A Kingdom Divided that I would love to get completed. It unlocks a lot of things including thralls on the Archaeo spellbook, some spells on that as well, and also gives a 10,000 experience lamp, as well as I think the Architectural Alliance also give 10,000 experience, so that is 20,000 Herblore experience I can get. I have all the level requirements, but I do need actually a 100% favor in all the different houses on current to be able to do the Architectural Alliance, so that is what we're going to do now. I currently have 100% in Arceus and Shazian, but not the other three. 
I'm going to start off with the Hosidious one, which is basically just dig up Saltpeter, and as I am 30% now, I will need 700 of these, as one of them gives 0.1% of the favor. But luckily it is pretty fast and there is a deposit box right here and when I do have the 700 ones, you put them all into normal compost that you can just buy and then you quickly hand them in to one of the characters here. I've collected all the saltpeter and the compost I need and how I'm going to do it is I'll take out four at a time like this and I just have the uh, top of my inventory with some random stuff and then I just click like this because if you're going to make them manually, uh, it is way faster than if you would make it automatically. I can just quickly show you guys, if I would take out like this, you can see how slow this is without uh, clicking myself. We now have the 700 required and she can take everything from the bank, so I didn't really need to bring all of them because you can't note them. So let's donate them all and that should be 100% Hosidio's favor completed. It is now time to finish off the Piscarelio's favor and dig up a bunch of these buckets of sandworms. Each one of them actually gives 0.36% favor, so it is kind of fast. I only need like 200 of them and as you can see it goes pretty fast. So when you got yourself a full inventory, you hand it in to Tynan, after that bring coins and you can just buy buckets new from him. So you don't have to go all the way to the bank because he actually takes your buckets. And here we go, there's the last inventory of buckets. Let's see that 100% favor completed and now we only need the Lovakench favor which I think is going to be the most annoying one by far, but uh, let's get it done. So from 0 to 20% I'm going to just mine Volcanic Sulfur, it is kind of AFK and it doesn't take that long, but at 20% I can complete the Forsaken Tower quest, get 10% favor for free, and at 30% I can actually smith the Lovakench Armors, which is going to be pretty fast, get me some mining and smithing experience, and I should get 100% pretty fast from that. The last 0.1%, there we go, 20% achieved, so let's now do the Forsaken Tower quest. By the way, that took me 35 minutes to do from 0%. And this is going to be the Forsaken Tower completed for the 10% favor and some minor experience as well. So let's click on the certificate and yes, now we should have 30% favor. So now we have to go and actually mine Lovakite. I have to get like 300 bars, which is... Uh, Quite a lot of mining, it's going to take a while, but uh, with my smithing level I can only do the tier 2 armors, and I will show you guys how you do that. Well, it seems I need 65 mining before I can actually mine the Lovakite itself, so I guess that is a detour I will have to take. 63 to 65 is not that bad though. I'm going to be power mining iron and actually last time I did this I did it outside of the mining guild but in the mining guild I was actually informed by some comments that it does actually respawn faster so the XP rate inside of the mining guild is actually quite a lot higher. As you can see I have basically no downtime waiting for the iron ore to respawn so this is a pretty good experience an hour probably like 55k or something. And that is going to be 65 mining done, so let's go and finish off the Lovakench favor. So now that I can mine these rocks, I bought myself enough nature runes to get 300 plus bars, and I already have over 600 coal, so I'm going to be fine on that front. I'm going to take out 18 coal, and I'm going to be mining these Lovakite ore, and then I just instantly superheat them into bars and get 9 per inventory, and I will need around 300 of these bars to get my favor to 100%. I thought I would need 300 bars to get all the way to 100% but I might be fine with 215 because there is actually a thing you can do at 65% to unlock like the minecart traveling options which gives 25% free favor so let's see if we can manage with this amount of bars otherwise I'll just get some more. So I have to make seven of the tier one sets that's going to allow me then to be able to make the tier two sets that give even more favor 3% per set and that is the set I will have to make all the way to 65% then unlock the a minecart network get to 90% and then make like three or four more tier 2 sets so it's going to be quite a lot of bars I'm hoping that it's going to be enough but I guess we'll see so in my inventory I have all the sets that I could complete I hope this is going to be enough after this I need 75% to be able to complete it with the minecart system let's deliver it also 18,000 smithing and 8k mining and I have 76% perfect so I can complete it now it is finally about to be done, we're going to get 100% in all the favors when I talk to this dwarf right here, and that is now 100% in everything. We can complete the Tale of the Righteous as well as the Architectural Alliance, and then we have the Kingdom Divided to complete, to complete all the quests on Zaya. 
This area is actually so cool, I love this area. It's in the quest Tale of the Righteous and you're actually only here once, I'm pretty sure. Maybe in the Kingdom Divided you will be here, I'm not sure, I've never done the quest. But I remember being here the first time ever in the Twisted League release and uh, I actually made it my thumbnail for the first uh, episode of that series because I thought the area was so cool. Like, look at this, corrupt lizard man with all the crystals over the, all over the place. Yeah, it looks really nice. The Tale of the Righteous is about to be completed right here, which is the last individual quest for the different houses, and we get the last Memoir page as well, and now I can do the Architectural Alliance that actually gives 10,000 experience, and then we are going to the big quest, The Kingdom Divided. Now, besides the 10,000 experience lamp this actually gives me, it also gives me a very convenient teleport. It actually unlocks the uh, heart teleport, I think it's called, on the Serex Talisman. So now if I teleport to the heart, I will land right here. So I don't have to use the current castle teleport anymore. So that is, of course, very useful if I'm on the ancient spellbook or something like that, or the Archaeos one. But let's put this on Herblore, 10,000 experience for free. And now it is time for the Kingdom Divided quest. Oh my god, look at this guy. Yeah, I don't think he's too hard. I've seen some other YouTubers kill him, but uh, damn, he looks uh, very intimidating. Last hit, there we go. The hitboxes, by the way, of the fire waves are terrible. So if you're doing this yourself, make sure you have good margins. Oh my goodness, look at the chat. What is that soundtrack name? Not even going to say it, I'm gonna get demonetized. I have to say I really love the visuals of the boss fights in this quest, this is the second one and I mean it's not hard boss fights, they're very easy, but I love the visuals, they are uh, very clean. And that is a Kingdom Divided completed. The Book of the Dead, by the way, you actually have to have in your inventory or equipped to be able to use the Thrall spells, which I'm going to show in just a bit. They are actually extremely strong for PVMing. And the Experience Lamp that we're going to put on Herblore for 10,000 free Herblore experience. Is that a level? It is not, but 5,600 of 63, pretty close. And now let's go over to the Archaeo spellbook and show off the spell. So let's have a look at these thralls. There are three different ones. One that uses mage, one that ranges, and one that melees. I'm not sure if it really matters which one you pick, but uh, it is different animations at least and different types of NPCs. So the one I'm going to click first is the zombie one, and they are up for your ma magic level times 0 0.6 in seconds. So if you're 99 magic, it is going to last almost exactly one minute, but because I am 84, it lasts a bit shorter than that. But the mechanic of these thralls is that they actually hit through defense. They don't hit hard, they hit up to, I think, three damage. But they hit pretty fast, and as I said, they go through defense, so they almost always hit, which is a nice extra DPS increase to your uh, PVMing. And, you know, if p five people have thralls and you're killing bandos, it's going to be a lot of extra damage. It's probably going to be like having an extra player, which is super nice. Let's look at all of them. The skeleton, which is the ranger, and then we have the major... Oh, it's on cooldown. I have to wait a bit, but the major is kind of cool as well. It is, um, let's see how it looks. It is the ghost that is in the Arceus uh, quest. I can't remember which one it is. The Ascent of Arceus, I think. So, they all look pretty cool. Oh, look at that. That is one dead mahogany tree. But, actually, that doesn't matter. Because when I click this tree, I'm going to get 65 farming. 65 farming is a pretty big level, actually. Because that allows me to plant Hespori. And that is like 10,000 experience a day. So I have like five seeds maybe. So let's get started with that. And here we go. This is the first Hispori seed planted on the account. Slightly late, but farming is not one of my favorite skills. I just have to get it to 70 for Priftinas. That's really all that I care about. I went into my analytics and I saw that 75% of the people watching my channel is not subscribed. If you watch this far and you enjoy my content, then make sure to subscribe if you want to see when I post the new episodes. And until next time, guys, take care.